Hey everyone, welcome back to Recruiting Reality, the show where we pair up hot entertainment topics with some helpful recruiting tips. And we're taking a break from our little mini series, All Things Hire Well, to bring you guys just back to our roots, literally going <laughs> back to our entertainment topics and then talking more about us. And today we're going to be talking about professional love languages as well as like big love languages that are out there. The book, there's like tests all over online, but we'll talk I a little it. bit more about it. Yeah, absolutely. So like Shania said, so it's Gary Chapman's book, The Five Love Languages, which obviously can be applied in, you know, your personal relationships, but we wanted to bring it to the professional forefront. So we'll kind of talk through, there's five love languages. We do leave out physical touch just because personally Shania and I are remote. And so yeah. we're not getting a literal pat in the back. <laughs> um, so we thought we would talk about the four kind of top ones that really can be most applied, whether you're virtual or in person. So Shania, I'll let you kick off your two and then obviously share with us what your love language is, and then I'll do the same. Yeah. So the first one is tangible gifts. I think in the workplace that can vary for a lot of different things, whether that is a reward from your company or a token from a teammate, like, Hey, good job. Here's like a $5 Starbucks gift card or um, acknowledging like a birthday or something like that. Very like small tokens of appreciation to make sure that they feel rewarded for their contributions on the team. And then my personal favorite one is quality time. This is true for me in my personal life. So it's also true yeah. at work. I just love like chatting with my teammates and cross teams during the day, setting up one-on-ones or coffee chats. Mm -hmm. That's definitely how I feel most like loved and appreciated in the workplace is being able to really get to know my colleagues. But what are the other two, Liz, and what's yours? Yes. Well, first of all, I love that we get quality time every time we get to film this bed together. So (laughs) check. Okay. So the other two are acts of service. That would be something like you know, I see that you've got this big project that you're working on. How can I help you with this? For us specifically, if there's a role that I see a colleague is recruiting on that, you know, maybe they're not having the most luck or they need help scheduling, jumping in and saying like, can I help get these scheduled for you? Take that off your plate. My personal one, both in relationships and professionally is words of affirmation. My cup needs to be filled for me to feel like I'm doing good at work, you know, even though I think we're all high achievers, especially when when we work in this space, but Mm -hmm. there, there's nothing like being recognized by your colleagues, by your boss and a company email, good job goes a long way. I think it's important for companies, for leaders, managers, teammates to, I've worked in organizations before where we've done the love languages quiz, or we've shared that so that you know how to approach your teammate. Like I would know that like for you, let me put some time on the calendar. And you know, for me, it's like, you tell me like, good job, Liz. And we're like filling each other's cups. So I think professional love languages are so important. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, I feel like my favorite words of affirmation is like, I'm proud of you. Like, I feel like I'm proud of you holds like so much weight. Like you see what I'm doing, like no matter if it was great or if it was bad, like you see me and you love me. Like, yes, (laughs) yes. I'm proud of you has always been my favorite one. Yeah. So share your love languages down in the comments, share how you like to give those or receive them and stay tuned for more.